Today on Stuart Cox Family News. Central Iowa was reeling Wednesday morning after what police described as a devastating tornado killed four people and laid waste to rural communities. Now let's see the clip. There were at least 20 tornadoes reported in the upper Midwest in a 24-hour period. The worst of the damage is in a small town in Iowa. This morning, dozens of people are recovering from injuries as a small town in central Iowa tries to recover from an EF3 tornado that ripped it apart. From above, the tornado's path is clear in a trail of debris. On the ground, neighbors remember hearing sirens. So I got all the kids and went downstairs into this room, the only room left standing, um, and just kind of huddled in the corner. And it got really quiet and then really loud and then everything was gone. Wind speeds hit over 135 miles per hour, killing several people. This man says he came across one of the victims. And he looked bad, and he was trying to find his dog. And I told him I would try to help find his dog, and they took him away, and I, and I know now that he has lost his life. In nearby Carbon, Iowa, storm chasers were on the road when debris flew right in front of them. And in Prescott, wind turbines were snapped in half. Some caught fire. Spray paint shows homes and vehicles that have already been searched. There's just all your memories in your own home, everything that you worked so hard to build, just gone. And in the mess are also miracles. This woman tells ABC's Victor Okendo she lost just about everything, but found one thing that can't be replaced. Could you believe that the wedding band, no. they were able to find it? No. Just looking at no. all of that. No, none of it. Nope. It's... Yeah, it's something else. FEMA will be on the ground today, and the White House says it is ready to provide support as needed.